Hey everybody, so today is the day after I've completed my seven day commitment challenge. Y'all, I'm so tired. I just got off work and now I'm here at the gym. Um, excuse all the background noise you hear. You see there's a TV on and then their phone is ringing and all that. But um, I just got off work. I had to really talk myself into coming to the gym. And I told myself, I said, well, if I don't do my hour today, then I'm going to have to do two hours tomorrow and that's how I convinced myself to come so I'm about to get my workout on and I will see you all later and I will be doing my update video for my first seven day commitment challenge eating low carb all right see y'all bye Saturday night around like 8 p.m. I am at the gym and as you see no one is here but me no one is here but me um I'm guessing everyone's probably getting prepared to go out and party or whatever but me I'm getting prepared for a life change so I was supposed to go and I was supposed to work out this morning at around like five o'clock in the morning, but I was so tired from working last night that I didn't wake up. So I said, let me go today and get my hour in for this first seven day commitment challenge. I'm on day five, I think either four or five, yeah. Cause I have two more days. I have Sunday and Monday. So yes. All right, y'all. Peace. Yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. I am so proud of myself. Tomorrow is MJ's birthday, and I'm on a treadmill, y'all. So that's why I'm out of breath. But tomorrow's MJ's birthday. But because it's on a Sunday, we celebrated it today on May 18th instead of the 19th which is his birthday so i took him bowling and everything and of course we had pizza and um french fries and all that actually they had pizza and french fries and stuff i had a salad so i'm proud of myself i had a grilled chicken salad with tomatoes green peppers onions lettuce of course and i had them to put the ranch on the side and I just dipped my fork in it and um, ate it like that. But that was all that I had today, except I had some watermelon earlier and some pineapples. Oh, that was all I had. And I'm so proud of myself because I did not give in to the temptation. <laughs> I stuck to it. So that's it. 
Bye. Let me get back to working out. I'm hot. <laughs> All right. I just came from the gym, y'all. Did my hour in my sauna suit. So attached. I like it, though, because it made me feel like Moni is working hard. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, that's my goal. Got to get out of these 340s, y'all. Got to get out. And I don't want to ever see him again. I'm so tired of starting over. But can't blame nobody but myself. No one forced me to eat the wrong way. No one forces me not to exercise. But really, it ain't even exercise. It's the eating because I move constantly. All the time. But it's all good. Because the only time you fail is when you don't get back up again. So, I'm getting back up and pushing forward. Alright, y'all. Bye. Alright. So, it's still the same day. Um, Sunday, May 19th, I am finishing up on this art trainer. Um, I have, let's see, seven more minutes to go, and I did an hour, so I'm getting it, y'all. I'm sweating. I don't have my sweat jacket on today because I came last night and used it, and of course, it was soaked, so I had to let it dry and after I washed it and all that. So, yeah. All right. I'm out. Hey, guys. So, today is the last day of my seven-day commitment to low-carb. I just finished working out, and I'm in the bathroom because there's people in the gym. <laughs> so, I'll have my stats also in this video. I walked 2.22 miles and I burned over 500 calories. All right, so I'm about to give me some water and then head home. Jump in the shower because this thing has me sweating. Bye. So I just got home from the gym. Y'all, excuse my bed. I have not made it yet. It's early in the morning. Don't worry about no bed. I was worrying about getting my child to school and get to the gym. But I know how sometime on YouTube we have a habit of looking at things. That is not even dealing with the topic of the video. <laughs> but yeah, so y'all, this is the last day. I'm on day seven of this commitment. I've been doing good. I'm proud of myself. Um, I We're finishing out MJ's birthday today. So once I avoid this temptation, I will... I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going to do it. So it don't matter. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. All right, y'all. So tomorrow I will be posting my update video. But when you all see it, because today is May 20th. So on May 21st, I will be um, filming the video and also editing it and uploading it. But it won't, will not be coming out until August. And I probably set it for August the 2nd to come out. So... It will be previously recorded by the time you see it. That's just how I'm comfortable with doing it right now until I know my head is fully in the game. Um, that's how I'm going to do it. All right, y'all. Bye.
because I'm all sweaty. I'm ready to jump in the shower. But, um, so I was supposed to do three days of a juice fast or water fast. Y'all, I did not make it the first day. I had me a salad. The second day, I kind of cheated, y'all. I, um, well, I don't want to say a cheat. I just had something that wasn't on my plan. When you say cheat, it kind of puts a negative connotation on it. And it's this is a lifestyle change, so um, th this is going to happen. I had me a crab cake and some fries because that's what I wanted, y'all. So that's what I had. But um, I know the salt probably added some pounds, so today I decided not to weigh. Um, I'm not going to weigh. Today is the... 24th of May 2019 on the Friday. I'm not going to weigh today. I'm going to weigh myself probably either Sunday morning or Monday morning. But of course, I will document that. Okay, y'all. So, I, um, yesterday, today is May the 29th. Yesterday, I did end up eating. So, I know I gained some pounds from water weight. I didn't eat that much. I went all day and then I ate. Um, so, I know I gained some pounds from water weight. Uh, so today, I do plan on dry fasting. Um, because I heard that dry fasting actually is like three days of fast of water fasting. Dry fasting has the effects of three days of water fasting. So, me and I ended up eating yesterday. I plan on dry fasting today. So let's see how much I, water weight I done picked up. Okay, so I picked up two pounds because I was 334 yesterday morning. Now I'm 336. So I picked up two pounds, so we're going to see how the dry fast and healthy release that and then some, hopefully. All right, see y'all tomorrow morning. All right, y'all, so today is June the 1st, um, 2019. Of course, as I stated in the previous videos, you will not be seeing this video until August, okay? I'm still just not ready to put it out there yet. I want to make a serious change and commitment before I include you all, so that's why these are pre-recorded. Um, in May, I started out at 3.53, and today is June 1st, and I am 3.37. So, I've lost a total of 16 pounds um, for the month of May. So, I'm I'm proud of that, and honestly, y'all, I think I lost more, but salt... <laughs> salt is a killer. I don't know. Like, I want seasoned food. I don't want no bland food. I try. I make sure I don't eat sugars and stuff like that. I don't. I don't want no bland food. I, I gotta have a little bit of salt. So I said I'm gonna do things a little differently. Um, in May I did a lot of water fasting. I will still include water fasting this month just because it's a good reset for your body with flushing everything and all the excess water out of your body. So I will always include that in this journey. But last month, I did a lot of water fasting, like consecutive days. and um, But then when I would 
eat something, my weight, I will pick up like three or four pounds. And that's what happened. The last time I had weighed myself before I started eating again, I had got down to 332. So I'm like, oh yes, I only got three more pounds and I'm out of the 330s, which is my goal. Um, which is my smaller, my smaller goal. Because I took my big goal and broke it down into small segments. So this goal is to get out of the 330s. So once I ate and then it, I'm like, dang, it shot back up five pounds. Just for me eating a salad from Chipotle with no rice or anything. Just the seasoning from the meat cause it and from the the salsa because they do put a little salt in the salsa cause it to shoot up like that but it's okay because what i learned this time on this journey is to not give up even when you have a bad day or you have a bad meal or cheat meal whatever you call it don't make it a cheat day or a cheap week and that's that's usually sometimes that's what I used to do in the past I would mess up and then the whole day I would just go crazy the whole day and then I'll go crazy the rest of the week and I said okay I'll start Monday and it's inevitable like Monday never comes for us those of if you're a chronic dieter like I am and that's what I call myself because I've been on a diet since I was in seventh grade y'all that's when I went on my first diet because that's when my weight shot up like with seventh grade you know monday never comes <laughs> so i don't want to tell myself so this time around i'm deciding um i'm not gonna say oh i'll wait till monday no if i have something i'm not supposed to eat the next meal i'm going to eat healthy and then continue on whether it's a wednesday or thursday tuesday i'm not gonna just quit and wait till that next week to start again. No, I'm going to start again that same day. So that's what I have done. Um, and that's what I am deciding to do on this journey because I'm tired of being on a weight loss journey. I'm but yeah, so I am sweating. <laughs> so I'm about to jump in the shower. Just wanted to give you all an update. Um, Keep me in y'all prayers. I know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I've prayed and everything about it. So I know that God answers prayers and he's going to give me the strength to endure this because I have goals to reach. All right. Love y'all. Peace.